Hello everybody, it's Mystic and welcome back to my library. I am back, hopefully for good, with Planet Zoo. I was having some issues recording it. Um, my computer was really lagging, not lagging, but I was dropping a lot of frames when I was recording it, I noticed, and I don't know, I feel like the recent update kind of fixed it. I don't know if there was something that they fixed on their end, but I have not been noticing as many frame drops as I was before. And I also decided that I wanted to restart my zoo because the other one, I made a few mistakes and I have a couple of ideas of how I want to lay my zoo out. So I figured, you know what, let's just restart it. We'll start on a brand new map and we'll see how everything goes from there. I am on a grassland map, as you can see, and I decided to start in Europe this time uh, because it looked like grassland Europe actually is in parts of Italy. And as I mentioned, I think in the first episode of my first of my other series, um, I'm half Italian, so I love Italy. And I thought it would be fun to start in Italy. So I did that and we have an, an Italian <laughs> named zoo here. It's the Stromboli Zoo because you know what? Strombolis are delicious. And why not name a zoo after it? So we are going to do that. And I guess I can get started with building. Um, I'll keep an eye on the FPS so far. It's fine, but I don't have any guests or anything at the moment. So it might drop later, but I'll see what happens. And I don't know what kind of, what kind of pathways do I want? I don't want to, I mean, you know, it could be pretty much whatever. How about stone? I think a stone pathway would be great. I'm going to make it nice and wide because we're going to have, <clears throat> hopefully have lots of guests. Do I want to have it aligned to a grid? Probably. Uh, hello? Okay, hang on. I know how to play. Totally know how to play. Oh, wait, maybe it won't align it to a grid. Hello? Oh, there we go. Oh, and now it's... Do I want it square like that? Actually, I like it square. So let's make a nice, what I what I kind of want to do here is make a nice entry area. Kind of like I had in my other zoo. Just gives people a little bit more um, spaces to move around. So we'll go like that. And I'll have, I'll probably put like some sort of big welcome sign there eventually. I'm not going to do it this very second. And then I think we'll have our first uh, habitat maybe go over here like so and then put up some barriers. I also have to get the staff area which I'll probably put nearer to the habitat and that way people don't see them. I'm just going to start off with wood for now. Um, actually, let's make this a little shorter. Just so it's a little bit even with the path. And then I can make it a little longer again. Okay. I don't know how big I want it. I haven't even decided what animals I want to put in here yet. I guess that's going to be big enough. If I do that, though, it's not going to be... If I do... Is that going to be even? Mm, might need to be a little shorter. I might have messed something up along the way. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oops. Eh. Oh, no. <laughs> it's It's got, like, a slight... Oh, you know what? It's fine. I'm not going to be a perfectionist. Okay. Uh, let's put a door here. Oh, no. I messed up my pretty. I'll put it right there. And then I'm going to fix the path. Like that. Okay. Then I want to get in a staff path. I don't really need the staff path to be that big, but... Maybe I'll just make like a little, little staff zone over here. Okay. Now, I know I don't need every building right at the very beginning. Um, and this time I'm going to just put down the generic ones because I really want to just, I want to decorate stuff how I want to decorate it. 
So I'm not I'm not going to get the already designed ones. I want to I want to make things look nice. So we need I mean we don't need a research center right away, but I might just put one in. Wait, that's the wrong one. Uh here it is. Keeper hut. Wait, are these the same? Hang on. I'm trying to I'm trying to edit it into the whole group so that everything is nice and even. There we go. That's what I wanted. But it's not attached to a path. Why? Okay. I mean, I guess that's fine. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, now it's attached. Okay, whatever. And I don't need a workshop just yet. But I might as well get the surgery and the quarantine. And you know what? Why not? I'm just going to get the research center too. Okay. So that's everything I need. I think everything should be attached to the power, I hope. No. Oh, dang. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to keep an eye on uh, guest happiness then. Okay, so that's on the wall there, but that is not going to affect the guests in any way. Um, okay, so I guess I'll just put it here. Like that. Now, is that going to bother the guests? It will not. Okay, so that's fine. We'll just do it like that. Now everything will be powered. I probably arranged things in a not so efficient way only because I could have had those buildings attached to this power, but whatever. I was going to need another generator eventually anyway. Um, and I guess depending on what I put in here, I might need a water treatment plant too. I might as well put one in. Where's the front of this thing? Like this. Is it attached to a path? Now it is. And that shouldn't bother guests either, because if the power one's not, then this one shouldn't. Nope. Okay. There we go. Little staff area. Okay, so what am I going to put here? I also need to hire staff, now that I think about it. Um, I have a ton of conservation credits just from my other zoos that I've been playing. So I can buy some pretty good things, actually. Well, we definitely need a keeper for whatever this is going to be. I might as well get a vet now. I don't I don't need a vet this very second, but I'm going to get one anyway. And then a caretaker. And oh, you know what I didn't put in? I didn't put in a workshop. But I don't need one ag again. I don't need one this very second. So I might leave that for a moment. I don't even, I mean, well, I'm going to need a mechanic for all this stuff, though. I might as well just hire one now. And you know what? What the heck? I know not everybody recommends putting in a workshop right away, but I'm just going to do it. Although I want it to be part of this group. I want them all to be part of the group. It's like the, the staff building group. Can I put it here? Uh... It doesn't have a path. I mean, I could put it over here. Yeah, fine. It's fine. Okay. It's not part of the rest of the group, but yeah, it sort of is. Okay. Got all that. I will assign work groups in a minute. I want to just figure out what animal I'm going to put in here. Um... Well, let's see. I want to spend my conservation credits as opposed to my cash because I need the cash for other things. I'm, oh, I was searching by price before. I'm not sure why. Okay. Well, actually, I do want to... Well, do I want to search by price? I actually don't think I want to search by price. Mm. Oh, darn it. Okay. Hang on. How about... Oh, no. The, big, the thing I should do is figure out how big this is. So 684... Um, so I have to figure out what can fit in there. Aardvarks can. African buffalo. They cannot, obviously. What did I say? 684? Bison could do it. 
I could do tapers. I had uh, I had those in my other, my little testing zoo that I was playing the other day. Um, bongos? No, bongos are shy. And actually, that's the other thing I noticed. I don't think I noticed this last time. But it says relationship with humans. And it says shy. So these are the guys that freak out if there's too much glass. So I'm going to try and find ones that are neutral or confident. Like this one. Uh, those are 780, so that's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze for a bonobo. Squeeze for a bonobo. Uh, ostrich. Nah. Oh, actually, no. It's going to be too small for a bonobo because it's a 684, not 864. I could do doll sheep. I don't think they're shy. Nope, they don't care. Let's see. Tortoises, that's too much space for them. I think these guys are shy. Panda, it's going to be too small for a panda. Flamingo, eh, a little small for, or big for a flamingo. Indian peafowl, rhinoceros, macaque. Uh, macaques might work. 684? I mean, that's a fair amount of space for a macaque. And these guys can have a fair group size, too. Matriarchal, matriarchal group with a single alpha male. I could do a macaque, but then I am going to have to put in coolers. Mandrill. Mandrills would work. They have a smaller group. I could do mandrills. Climb proof. 3.3. .3. Although I don't have a lot of climbing stuff right now. It might be better to do something that doesn't require quite so much climbing at the beginning. Uh, reindeer. Reindeer would be good too, but again, it's going to be... I, I mean, it doesn't matter if I have to put a cooler in. Sable antelope, although I think they're shy. Oh no, they're not. Huh, these guys might work. Spearian tiger, toe, toe leopard. I'm doing great at reading today. Oh my goodness. All right. Chimp can't work. All right. How about... Reindeer is a good option. They're not shy. It's a decent size. And then what? how, big, how many of them can I have? 3 to 12. Yeah. Wait, that can't be right. Is that right? Why are the females so much heavier? They're more like, that can't be right. Is that right? Does anybody know? <laughs> that can't be right. All right, anyway, I'll get a couple of reindeer. So we'll, we'll get some reindeer. And actually, this is the first time I've played with the reindeer in my game. Let's do reindeer. I think I could probably get them for, oh. Uh, I don't want to spend too much on them. I might end up just paying cash, although, oof. Nope, reindeer are not going to work. Okay. What are the other ones that I was saying? I could do, oh, mandrel. Let's try mandrel, because I could always put a, uh, a climbing barrier on here. Mandrel. Yeah, mandrel is a little bit more reasonable. I can get her. How long do they live until? Yeah. I'll get her. And then I just need a boy. He's terrible. <laughs> um, He's even more terrible. This one's not too bad. Yeesh. Where's the one? This one's not too bad. We'll get him. Okay. Move them in, and then I'll deal with getting everything ready for them. How come I can't have to shift click? It's not letting me control click to care to get both of them. Or do I just drag? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I can do that. Sometimes I can't. Oh, I bet you it's because I had to pay cash for one of them. Okay. So move... All right, and then I'll get the habitat set up. And let's see, habitat, just write mandrels. 
in there, and then habitat, search for mandrills, species. By the way, I'm currently playing on Ultra, but if I have to lower the settings to help with the FPS, I will do that. I'll just keep an eye on it. I think this should be good. Is that bigger than I need, though? How much space do mandrels need? I, yeah, this should be fine. Okay, I'll put that over here. I can't even see. This grass is so tall. that. Now we need some food. Get the feeding platform. The small one's fine. Get some water. And I know I don't have... Oh, I do have climbing, but that's it. So what else do they need? Uh, mandrel. Mandrel, mandrel, mandrel. Natural habitat. They need 40. And actually, the, the weather should be fine for them okay they need climb proof and 3.3 feet feet and not meters uh i'm not good at converting stuff <laughs> what's you know what i'm just gonna do 3.3 meters just just to be safe or 3.39 okay and then, whoops excuse my phone okay and need to do climb proof on the right. Okay. And then we just have to get some climbing and also trees. Where are the mandrels from? Africa tropical. So let's put in some trees because I'm sure they're gonna like trees because they can probably climb on them. Tropical Africa, okay. Hopefully the music's not too loud. Okay. Some trees. I'm not going to use K-pop trees. They are just so big. And hopefully this counts as climbing for them. Let's see. Just going to put... Maybe I'll make like a little... little grove of these here. That's too big. I love these. They're so pretty. Okay. And then maybe some plants just to give them some shade. Over by there. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Oh, those are little. I don't know how many plants they're going to need, but I'll find out. Okay. Okay. There. Now I have to get the staff stuff set up. So let's get some work zones together. Caretakers, I don't typically do a work zone for. Not at the beginning anyway. I'll do a keeper zone, obviously. So we'll do this, this, and this. And I'll just write mandrel keeper. Okay. And then you... We're gonna take this, 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 and this, and we'll just put mechanic by mandrels, just so I know where it uh, where they are, and the vet. So, animal trade, quarantine, veterinary surgery, res research center, staff room, vet by mandrels. Oh, and this, obviously. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Uh, did I tell them to? Yeah, they're going to go get them. Okay. Oh, windows would be helpful. Let's get some windows. Oh, and uh, education... And donation boxes. Okay. So let's do that. Oops. Come on. I don't know how many I need. I always put down more than I need, I think. But you can never have too many of those. 
this here. And maybe like here. Not on the path. Darn it. Okay, hang on. Eh, here is fine. Okay. Get a couple of speakers. Here we go. What are my goals here? Drink profits. Yeah, we're not buying any sort of drink or food facilities just yet. Exhibit species. Yes, I am going to need some exhibits because the exhibits sell for a good amount of money in the beginning. But first, let's see what the mandrills are going to need. Let's see. Terrain. We need... Oh, shoot! I forgot to give the, ma the mechanic... I'm so glad they added that so that we know what I've what we've forgotten because I always forget something okay all right now let's see what they need they have plenty of climbing so I don't have to put climbing stuff in they'll just climb the trees of course there's too much long grass there's always too much long grass uh we can add some more short grass Oh, now there's too much short grass. Of course there is. Uh, and then we need soil. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, wait, that's too much. Let's make this a little smaller. Okay. I'm going to keep it over here because that's where their bed is. And presumably there's not going to be a lot of grass where there's so much shade. So we'll do that. And yeah, that should be good. Okay. How's that? That's better? Okay, so we have to research some enrichment for them. And since I have a vet, I can do that. I always forget to have them go into quarantine first. One of these days I will remember. That day is not today. I think I'm going to put two... Can I put two exhibits, like, right here? Because this would be a good spot for exhibits. Or another habitat, actually. I could put another habitat right there and then put the exhibits here. Yeah, do I want to put another habitat there? I probably do. But yeah, I'll, I'll put a couple of exhibits over here. Uh, facilities, exhibits. Again, it's just going to be plain. Can I add it to a grid? I just don't want to mess up my grid too much. I can afford two of these. I'm going to get two of those because, again, selling the exhibit animals is a good amount of money. Especially the ones that breed fast, like the puff adders and the uh, titan beetles, I believe they are. Uh, hello? Uh, hang on. Align to surface. Let's turn that off. There we go. Okie dokie. Got those. And then I just need some donation boxes. Right here, right here. Get some exhibit creatures. So yeah, I'm going to get... Or actually, do I want the Amazonian? Which one sells better? Those are... And those also have a guest interest of 1500 What about the Titan Beetles? Oh, they're about the same. I'm going to stick with Titan Beetles only because I know they sell really well. So, actually, wait. Let's get this one and this one. Okay. Put these little guys in here. And... Uh, I think I'm going to do puff adders because they sell, they breed fast and they sell decently well. So let's do that. Puff adders, puff adders. Here they are. 
Yeah, puff adders will work. One. No, um, actually her. Adopt. Adopt. Send to zoo. Okay. Now I gotta... Oh, and I got some money for getting all those guys. So that helps. Okay, so let's just name this Pup Adders. Got to fix up the exhibit a little bit. Uh, temperature needs to be at 30. Humidity needs to be, well, actually, humidity might be okay where it is. Yep, okay, so they're good. Okay. They're good as they are. I need to assign some keepers to these in just a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, game. Puff adders. All right, let me pause this for a sec. Titan beetles. And then, all right, so they just need to go a little cooler. And... A little drier. That should do it. No? Okay. There we go. Now I just need to... I think I'm... Hmm. I mean, eventually I'm going to have a second... Actually, you know what? Maybe I should set up a second habitat right now? I could put something right here. I have the money. I might as well. What am I going to... I don't... I mean, I could... What do I want to have, though? I could do another tropical species. I like keeping the biomes in somewhat together areas. Or at least I've discovered that I like to do that. So... What kind of tropical animal could I get that doesn't need a lot of space? I could do an aardvark. And, oh, wait, though. Aardvarks are shy, aren't they? Yeah, I don't want to do an aardvark. Um, tortoise? Tortoises don't care. Although these guys breed so fast, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> um, tapers? Or neutral. I could still do tapers. Bengal tiger. Needs a lot more space. Bongos are shy. Bonobos. I could do bonobos. But I kind of want to do something other than a monkey this time. Um, those guys need a lot of space. Let's not do that right now. I could do a gharial, but those guys breed like crazy too. Although, maybe in the beginning, that's not such a bad thing. Peafowl also breed really fast. I actually don't know that I want peafowl in my game this time. <laughs> I got kind of sick of them. Um, Komodo dragon. Pygmy hippos. Pygmy hippos might work. Although, they need a lot of water. Well, I did make the water purification treatment right here. So, I could do that. How about this? How about I actually get a, pa a path, a pond set up for them? Uh, let's do a gentler slope. I think right here. It's got to be wide enough. And then we're going to smooth it so that they can get in and out. And then we need some water. Yeah, a decent amount of water, actually. Uh, this tree is probably going to need to go, as is this one and this one. Um, and now I can put the barriers in. What did I decide on? Pygmy hippos. Okay.
This is actually going to be way too big for a pygmy hippo. Might need to change this a little. Oh, maybe not. This looks terrible, though. <laughs> it looks... It's so, like... Uneven. Oh, whatever. How big is it? Let's put in a door. Actually, it might be a good size. Oh, wow. It's actually a lot smaller than I realized. 376 by 237. How much do they need? Way more than that. Okay. Um, so let's actually have this go outwards then. Oops. What did I do? Go like that. And like that. And then we'll just move it back. How's that? Why is the water not counting? What? Why is it not counting? Hang on. Ugh. All right, edit. I'm just gonna delete these then and just rebuild because I don't, I don't like how it looks. How's that? As ridiculous as it looks. Why the heck? Why is it not? <laughs> there... Why is it saying there's no water? There's plenty of water. Um... I don't know... Why it says... There's no water. There's literally a whole pond in here. Do you need to calculate? Water area. Hang on. Terrain. Move. Why is it not letting me now? Oh, because... Mystic. Okay. Now it says 216. I'm so confused. Okay. Hang on. Um. Maybe it needs to be a little deeper. And then we're going to smooth it out. Okay. Are we good now? What? How in the even? Right? Fine. We'll make it bigger. And then we're going to smooth it. So that they can actually get in and out of it. I am so confused. Why is it saying only 217 still? Is it because it's going to negative? Why is it going to negative? That can't be right. There, you cannot have negative water, game. I am, I am extremely confused by this. You can't have negative water. Hello, Salvatore. Good name for visiting an Italian zoo. <sighs> I don't know why it's doing that. Um, how do you have negative water? I mean, maybe it'll be fine once I get them in there. I hope. I mean, because there's clearly enough water here. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, unless I want to put the tapers in instead. Because they need less water. I could do tapers instead. Are they shy, though? No, they're not. Okay. 
Yeah, actually, I could do tapers instead. In which case, they could go with even less water. Hang on. Oh no, what have I done? Maybe if I... Is it because I'm... No, I don't know why it's doing that. Alright, hang on. Let's just smooth some of this out. Because the tapers don't need nearly as much water. Seven sixty and sixty six. I mean, that should be good. They can get in and out of it. It's definitely part of the water treatment. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll do tapers instead. I don't know why. Or typers? I don't know how to say that. What am I doing? This is the wrong thing. Okay. Animal market. Let's search for... Yeah, if somebody can let me know how to say that, I'd be curious. Baird's... Taper. No, there's no I, so it's got to be taper. Tapper? Taper? I don't know. All right. Um, right. We'll use this guy. No, we're not using that guy. I'm going to have to use money this time. Quetzalcoatl. Isn't that the name of a emperor? What do they call them? Kings? Oh. Move. And hello. There we go. Okay. Now let's Baird's tape taper, tapper, taper. Okay. And now we're gonna have to get some habitat stuff for them. I'm gonna get a second zookeeper. Hmm. Okay. And then when I get the second zookeeper, I'll assign stuff to the exhibits as well. There we go. Okay. And food. They don't need a water trowel because they've got the ponds. There are no enrichment items yet, and do they need heat? Probably eventually. They need 3.3 feet? What are they, jump? They don't look like jumpers. They're, they're so like, I don't know. They don't look like they'd be capable of jumping. But I'll raise it up then. And I know it said 3.3 feet, but I don't know what the conversion rate is, so I'm just going to play it safe. Okay. Yeah, alright, that works. There we go. And I think that's everything. Now I just have to get a keeper. And then we'll assign some work zones. Whoops. Okay. Taper keeper. Oh, and let's actually assign one of those. And then the mandrel keeper is going to take this one. Okay. Oh, nope, I need education stuff. Education. Here we go. One. Two. A couple of these. There. Oh, nope. I also need donation boxes. There. 
I might actually end up putting a couple more exhibits on this side here. Once I have the money. I don't have the money right now. Okay, now I'm just waiting for them to grab the tapers. And then I'll get all that education stuff set up. And arrange the habitat a little bit better. Did it, Is this for the same person? Yeah, okay. Make, oh, darn it. I forgot about the mechanic. I am so glad. It reminds me now. So glad. And same with the vet. Okay. And the vet. There we go. Okay. Now. What do you little guys need? The terrain is terrible. Okay. Oh, see, now it says that they have plenty of water. This game. Okay. Um, soil. They need a lot more soil and a lot less long grass, as per usual. Okay. So I'll put the soil along here. Oh, wait. Let's do more than 30. Hang on. Then actually the lake itself can get soil. Oh, now we need more short grass. Okay. There. Oh, perfect. Okay. That's better. All right. I think everything is nice and set up. Oh, wait. Do they need plants? I think actually they do. They do. Okay. You know what else? I didn't check and see if I have to add any more plants for my uh, mandrels. Oh, no. They're good. Okay. So these guys. What are these? South America Tropical. Okay. Let's see. So let's just get rid of Africa and then put continent. South America. Acai palm. Put a couple of those in. And coconut palm. Bigger one. Ooh. Right near the pond. No kapok trees. Again, they are just too big. I like decorating near the habitat itself with some little plants and maybe we'll put a couple of these along the pond here there everything good gave me less space for them but they still have plenty of room okay awesome oh wait education boards let's do that and here and here here and here okay awesome i think we are all set for the moment once i get to 300 guests i'll need to start putting in guest facilities but i am good for the moment so this seems like a pretty good place to stop i have to say i think the fps has been going okay even on ultra mode so i'm just gonna leave it as it is um but yeah hopefully you enjoyed and i will see you all next time i'm really glad i got back into this game it has been a lot of fun so hopefully you enjoyed as well and see you later bye